fuck censorship and fuck sensitive people. This commentary is going to be in reference to the recent Save the Cover campaign that has been all over social media lately. If you're unaware of this situation, I'll just briefly explain it to you. Basically, there's a Batgirl comic that's supposed to be released this summer, and the alternative cover to the comic book was found to be offensive by a certain group of people, primarily feminists. The cover shown here clearly depicts Batgirl who is in a severe state of distress as she's been captured by one of the most notorious villains of all time, and to be honest, her future doesn't look too bright. Personally, I'm a bit unclear on what the entire issue is. Um, at first, I was seeing people post that it's sexist. Feminists do have an issue where they believe men oppress women, so an image like this may depict something like that. So I can see where they would come up with the, that kind of conclusion. It is a man in seemingly in control of a woman. The woman appears to be helpless and powerless and all that. And I don't agree with it being sexist in any way because when I look at a picture like this, I don't see genders. I just see a hero and a villain. I mean, you could replace Batgirl with Batman and I would be seeing the exact same thing. I don't like to judge things based on gender and I think frankly that that's just ridiculous. If anything, I would say that this is a depiction of male empowerment due to the fact that the Joker, who's the underdog among the two, has come out on top and defeated his oppressor, which would be Batgirl in this case. And I really don't see an issue with that, and if people wanted to see it like that, I'd say that's fine. If feminists have a problem with male empowerment, and not female empowerment, then that just goes to show you the type of equality they're fighting for, and in reality, it reveals their true bias. And you can guarantee that if the Joker was holding Batman or another male character at gunpoint, there would probably be no issue at all. Anyways, the confusing thing is that suddenly the story seemed to have changed. The complaints were suddenly no longer about sexism, and it went towards the content itself. The artwork apparently doesn't fit into what happens in the story itself, so they felt that it was inappropriate to have it on there. Well... Newsflash, bitches, it doesn't matter what the story's about. The cover is still relevant because it's depicting the Joker as the villain that he is. Needless to say, that still seems like a pretty lame reason to vote for banning a comic book cover. Uh, but hey, they changed the reason once again after that. The last I heard, anyway, is that they felt the artwork was too extreme for young teens. The target audience for these comics is teenagers, so... These self-righteous feminazis are stating that today's teens can't handle such a savage and vulgar image. You know, the types of teens that have access to the internet readily available to, <laughs> at all times to them. Sounds pretty fucking stupid to me. If this comic was directed at 5 to 10 year olds, then I can see the issue, but anything higher than that, 12 to 18 and up? Fuck. They show worse in PG-13 movies all the time, but, you know, these... these People got to whine and complain about a variant cover to a comic book? That's just pathetic. So to be clear, some bigots felt that this artwork is inappropriate to be put on a comic book and they demanded it to be not printed. And the worst part about it is these ignorant assholes got what they wanted. The artist, Raphael Albuquerque, requested to DC Comics that they do not go forward with the print and... You know, they listened to him, so it has officially been cancelled. So did these feminazis win? In their mind, they probably won because they're able to stop this evil pollution from getting into the hands of teenagers across North America. But really, they ultimately failed because this covers everywhere now. At least in my social feeds it is. There's several YouTubers making vids about it and spreading it around and showing it around. And there are several other comic book artists and just artists in general making their own renditions of the cover as a statement that they will not be silenced and they will not let some overly sensitive Nazis dictate what they're allowed to create and have published. So just for kicks, I decided to make my own version of the cover and I hope my cover depicts the bold statement that censorship is wrong. Is my version inappropriate? Most people including myself would probably say it is. But inappropriate is a subjective term and inappropriate does not mean something should be banned. Half the songs on the radio and half the shows you watch on TV are inappropriate. I myself am a, am a very desensitized person. I'm very desensitized to a lot of things. Most things. Um, I watch a lot of extreme horror films. I listen to extremely vulgar music. Certain people enjoy these types of media not because we condone it or because we partake in it, but because we're fascinated by human extreme nature. 
Um, in pretty much all of these extreme forms of media, there's perpetrators and there's victims. Well, the original image sh um, of Batman, or sorry, Batgirl and Joker would be rated T for teen because I'd say it's fairly mild in its content. I would say my image will be rated R, which I believe is 18 plus, due to the subtle nudity and the innuendo towards sexual violence. I didn't make my image to be published on a comic book directed towards teens. I made my image to show that I can make whatever the fuck I want to make, no matter how vulgar or extreme it may be. And if you have a problem with it, don't fucking look at it. There is artwork out there that is far, far more extreme and more accessible than this Batgirl comic is. We have ratings on our media to determine what kinds of audiences they are for. We don't need a group of self-righteous Nazis trying to dictate what our teens should or shouldn't be looking at. I will say though, that they have every right to be offended, but that's their own fucking problem, no one else's. In fact, I am offended that they censored this image, so maybe we should get together and ban feminism. Heck, if they're willing to take away the rights of others, then maybe we should take away their rights too. A little taste of their own medicine perhaps. They're just nothing but a bunch of selfish assholes with hidden agendas. And that is just a blunt fact. Anyways guys, I'm done for now. I'm Vile Self. I want to thank you guys for watching. Recently hit 2400 subs on my channel. Can't thank you guys enough for all the love and support you guys have given me. But that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.